Hey guys, this is Rob from ASUS, and today we're going to look at the latest N-Series notebook. And if you guys aren't familiar, the N-Series is our multimedia series of notebooks. So this is a very audio, uh, visual focused notebook, and something of a desktop replacement. It's extremely powerful. This actually has an Intel Core i7 quad-core processor. It's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and a huge 750 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, it's also got NVIDIA GT 555M graphics and that has two gigabytes of video memory. So this is a really powerful notebook and when I crack into this thing you're going to see the design is actually quite inspired by high-end audio equipment. We actually had the uh, creator of Bang and Ice Power, David Lewis, was working on the uh, design of this notebook. So it's quite interesting, uh, quite a bit of a design departure from some of our previous notebooks. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So let's crack into this thing and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's swing this thing around. And the first thing we've got is just a quick cover over the notebook. But uh, the first thing on top is the N55 itself. So I want to show you guys just what this thing looks like. It really is uh, very you know, high-end audio inspired. See, it has this uh, metal bezel going all the way around it and a really nice high gloss finish. So this is quite high catching. Uh, it's going to look you know, pretty amazing in your desk. It's uh, a really, really cool finish. So we're going to take a closer look at that in a moment. But first, let's just see what actually comes inside the box. And I'm going to put this on the ground maybe. But um, we have actually two compartments here. And in the first compartment, uh, we've got basically all of our information that we need, things like uh, a user manual, driver disk, uh, updates, your warranty card, definitely want to sign up for the accidental damage protection. We've got your cable organizer and also uh, something new on this one is an audio guide, how to basically get the best out of your uh, N-Series audio. So we'll have a little bit of a look at, uh, at that in a moment. but. There's actually a couple cool things in here that we don't have in most of our notebooks. And one of them is actually a subwoofer. So because this is an audio inspired notebook, it actually has an external subwoofer. Uh, it also has a, a bit of a, a carrying case for it. And I'll show you guys in a moment just uh, what kind of additional audio performance you can get. We'll do a bit of a head to head test. And we'll see if this is uh, quite a huge impact on audio having this external sub. Apart from that, we have our, our pretty standard things. You've got your you know, cables for adapter, power adapter, that kind of thing. And also a six cell battery. So this is gonna be you know, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent battery life. Maybe uh, two or three hours, that kind of thing. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to put the battery in this notebook. It's a little bit different than some of our other ones. You actually put the far end in first and then it will just click right into place. Uh, you can see you've also got a few compartments here to change memory, uh, hard drive, that kind of thing. It's pretty easy to access. So before we actually open this up, let's have a quick look just at some of the uh, ports that we get on this, some of the inputs and outputs. So uh, swinging around to this side, first you have your Kensington lock. Uh, next you've got your uh, AC uh, charger. We've got VGA. We've got an Ethernet port. You've got HDMI and two USB 3.0 ports here. So swinging around to the other side, we have of course our uh, stereo and mic. We've also got two more USB 2.0 ports, so a total of four USB ports in total. And then on this we actually have a Blu-ray drive, so uh, Blu-ray and also a DVD writer. So that's pretty cool, uh, it goes along with the multimedia theme. And then finally we have our subwoofer input. So um, this is uh, you know something you can either plug in the, the standard subwoofer or a cool thing is you know most notebooks you couldn't plug in your like 4.1 surround sound system but on this one you finally can so really cool to have that additional uh, additional subwoofer jack. So open this thing up. Uh, one thing that a lot of people are going to like is that this is actually an anti-glare screen so I'll just turn it around a little bit you can see that it is not glossy so Definitely going to help a lot with that visual experience. Uh, the idea behind the design was, you know, really to match like a, a high-end uh, HD TV. And going along with that, it is a full HD screen, so 1920 by 1080. Uh, you've got 
two speakers here. They're 32 millimeter speakers, so quite large. And you're of course going along with the sub, it's quite a lot of audio power. You've got a, a great, uh, what's called a chocolate bar keyboard. And a really nice finish here, really uh, soft touch, matte kind of finish. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing on here. And once it's booted up, we'll take a look at uh, first the Windows Experience Index and then also do a quick test of uh, the audio and see you know, what the difference is with the subwoofer and what it's like without it. Okay, so we're all booted up and let's um, pull up the Windows Experience Index like I mentioned. And I'm just gonna show you guys you know, how powerful this notebook really is. You can see it has a Windows Experience Index of 5.9 and really the only limiting factor here is the hard disk. So if you threw an SSD into this thing, I think you'd have an even higher score. Uh, you know, it's 7.5 for the processor. Now to give you a bit of reference point, the G53JW3D, which is a 3D gaming notebook that we reviewed just about uh, nine months ago, that had the same score as this. So this notebook has as much power as a 3D gaming notebook. Definitely uh, pretty impressive. So. Now I want to just show you that uh, audio test like I mentioned. This is a really cool thing. I'm going to use the same uh, YouTube video actually that we used for the UX31 sound test. So you guys at home can get kind of an idea of uh, a head-to-head -head comparison. So first we're going to try without the sub. So let's hear, this is the VX6 uh, launch video from about a year ago but it's amazing sound. So let's hear, here we go, 10 seconds without the sub and then we'll plug the sub in and see what it sounds like. <laughs> gives you guys an idea. Obviously it sounds pretty good. Those are pretty big speakers. But let's uh, take this sub out. Now I want to show you uh, the bottom just pops off pretty easily and the cable is actually really neatly uh, put in there. So this just pops right back on. And it's really convenient to travel with that it actually winds up like that. So let me plug this into the subwoofer jack. And we don't have to do anything really. It's gonna have a little pop-up saying that we you know, plugged in an audio device, but that's about it. It's gonna work right away. So let's go back to the beginning. And again, let's give it about 10 or 15 seconds and we'll see how much uh, better it sounds. And it definitely does sound a lot better. <laughs> That is it with the sub. You guys can tell it's obviously a lot deeper sounding. You still get all the uh, mid and high range, but the low range is vastly improved. So huge impact with the sub. I'll show you, it's actually um, kind of interesting to see what it looks like too. If I take the top off, it's actually a pretty substantial speaker in there. So really cool to have um, an external subwoofer for sure. Alright, so there you have it guys, that is the N55SF, a uh, hugely powerful multimedia notebook, all kinds of awesome features on this thing. Uh, I forgot to mention, you know, it does also have a 2 megapixel HD camera that's really optimized for low light conditions, and the graphics card actually has NVIDIA Optimus in this too, so the battery life is pretty good. Um, that's all for, for the N55SF, thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to ASUS ROG.